return to the Dragon Turtle Inn to rest following your adventures in Anteros and made the acquaintance of the Bloodsworn, an infamous adventuring party and group of mercenaries who had already fulfilled the Bloodhunter contract from Malk Woodstone. Tiberius questioned the group and discovered that the drow baby they had left in the care of the Ancient One was the nephew of Exandra, a member of the Bloodsworn. Exandra had rescued the babe when it was newborn from the clutches of the priestesses of Lolth who had intended to sacrifice it. Meanwhile, Rodri was resting upstairs and suffering from a strange waking dream in which he saw himself being attacked by a strange shadowy creature in a mirror's reflection. He had, however, managed to translate the strange letter and map that they had found on the wreck of the Golden Crown and it revealed forthcoming attacks on major imperial cities. It also contained the name Flamesinger. The next morning, the group arranged a clandestine meeting with the Archduke via their friendship with Stor Hornraven of the Duke's fleet. The Archduke agreed with the conclusions of the group and began to organise the defence of the city against a threatened attack. He also sent Hornraven on a mission to notify other Imperial cities of the danger. Finally, Udor Flamesinger was summoned, but it seemed the mention of his name on the coded note was innocent, and he was in fact a likely target. The Archduke asked the party to help by investigating the abandoned mine of Beranzo, which had also been mentioned in the coded documents. Any information may prove vital. So the party travelled to the old mine and by the use of Hecate's witchy powers cleared away past the collapsed entrance. Inside, things seemed quiet and long abandoned, but further exploration led to the discovery of strange rat-like things and finally a terrible presence. A fully powerful and malevolent alien creature like the one that Burn Rhyme Wave had transformed into. So, I will just describe to you again the room in which you find yourselves. <coughs> Stop the music first. Um, the room was clearly once used as an office at some point, but has since been converted for other purposes. Strange glass vials and jars line the shelves on the walls, filled with bodily fluids and organs. The large desk has been dragged into the centre of the room, and a human corpse lies upon it. Its arms have been sliced open from shoulder to wrist, and celestial steel claws are being attached to the muscles and ligaments within. And hovering behind the desk is the strange, terrible creature, and you all hear a strange voice in your mind. Finally, fresh experiments. And with that, I would like everybody to roll initiative. Oh! Um, initiative. When you need it. Oh my right. god. Don't know what is now. Wow. <laughs> we caught him by surprise. It's like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tiberius, you're first up. Which corridor already gone down? Oh, wait, it's east to my. east yeah. to the west, isn't it? He is, yeah. Yeah, okay. I can't see anyone. <laughs> Is it right that I should only see me on the map? No. Yeah, I only see me too. Oh, maybe. I, um, I thought I was in a different room. Maybe you. Maybe you, you should. I think you should be able to see Atticus down the corridor. Can you not see Atticus, Rodri? What no. If I, what if I move you to there? Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, I see everyone. Okay. Hey guys. Tiberius, you're up. When the blood in your veins returns to the sea and the earth in your bones returns to the ground, perhaps then you will remember that this land does not belong to you. It is you who belong to this land. Yeah! Charge it. Wow. Impressive. Okay. I should hope so. He's been practicing. So all week. Tiberius runs in and leaps uh -oh. up onto the <laughs> desk, <laughs> straddling the vivisected body. As you run in, Tiberius, you see to your left and right two tall shambling figures. Also, they have been vivisected. One of them, the top of its head, has been cleanly removed as if by a surgeon's scalpel and the brain is pulsing within. 
The other one, its belly has been opened and pinned back with surgical pins, exposing the viscera within. Yeah. Uh, right, back up. Okay. Oh, target him. Yeah, you're targeting mm -hmm. him. Do I get advantage for my cinematic? No, if you're going to do, want to oh. use cinematic advantage, you have to tell me what you're going to do. Oh, I okay. then assign a difficulty to it. You have to make an ability check, and if you're successful, you gain advantage. Okay. That was great role playing. Well done. Uh, <coughs> last one, didn't it? Oh. Oh. That nearly all missed. Oh, I got one last hit. Last one hits. Okay, you snarl your vindictive at the strange beast, leap up onto the desk. As you swipe at it with your claws, it just kind of sweeps from side to side, hovering in the air. But you manage to catch, catch it with your last claw and scrape through its black velvet robes, digging into the flesh beneath. Would you like Dumb. to do anything else? Dumb. You're done. Cat. Okay, I want to target the main dude. Okay. Hopefully from here. Yeah, from 50 feet. Oh. Nice. And I will go with uh, Witch Bolt okay. at level 2, please. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> um, I'm going to use my inspiration and reroll. Okay. Oh, oh what? <laughs> I okay. Use my inspiration. If you can untick your inspiration. Okay, okay. wow. Uh, so it's a 2d12 because yeah. it's. Oh shoot. Um, May I make sure it's done properly or the critical point will work? Try it. I, oh. I can you talk to Becky it. how to do it, Rich? Oh, oh you've done it. What? That was awful damage. Did it? That was just 1d12. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was just 1d12 plus the critical, so you can re-roll that as well. What, re-roll a 12? Okay. I did try, but I'd let go of the bloody mouse. So it's 12 plus 8, it's another 20. Thank you. Wow. Okay. So for a moment, the horror of this thing, it, there's this strange presence in your mind, okay. and you struggle to target him but then you just realize that this thing is unnatural to this world and it's an it's an aberration that must be defeated and you grit your teeth and you get you target it and the witch bolt screams across almost parts the hair between Tiberius's ears as it slams into the chest of thing and whacks it back up against the wall its arms fly up just for a moment it's pinned there by the uh, bolts of energy slamming into it. That's me, thank you. Atticus. Welcome to Earth, motherfucker. <laughs> I forgot about it. Uh, I'm gonna move to there. Okay, as you move to there, you see the strange vivisected creatures either side of the doorway. Um. Okay, I'm going to attack this one then. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Burning Hands at it. I've got it targeted. Roll. It fails. Okay, as you round the corner, you see this thing looming over you. You swing your sabers together, sparks fly up and um, fly into the face of this thing. It screams as its body suddenly becomes a raging pyre, the smell of burning fat 
assailing your nostrils. It writhes and sinks to the floor. Nice. Are you doing anything else? Yeah. I'm going to move to there. Yep. He's got the melt around. You can't back <laughs> move back, can you? Pardon? No. So I'm not, I'm not going to move to there. I'm going to stay there. Okay. And fire my gun at this other one using action surge. Okay. There we go. There we go. Disadvantage and a still hit. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, you did. For fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. That's me. What you uh, raise your hand up, your pistol appears magically in your hand as you raise it, you on you fire a shot. It goes straight into the bottom half of its face, the bottom half of its head that remains. The bottom half of its head just explodes backwards against the wall, but it still shambles towards you. Okay. As it does so, it raises its arms towards you. Uh, let me just see they don't get multi-attack. And bursting out of the uh, the knuckles of the hand, these adamantine claws suddenly shoot out, ripping through the flesh on its hands as it tries to hit you with them. Nice. Fucking, like, budget Wolverine. It's a Wolverine zombie. Reject Wolverine. <laughs> you see it coming, but it misses. Okay, Rodri. Uh, target Elios. Pepper it, and then I'll just blast. That's probably done wrong. <laughs> that what was the it. hell happened then? 2d20 plus 7 to hit? I was looking to see, um, because it fires two, and I was looking, I, I dragged it and then right clicked. Oh, okay. Two so let's take the here. lowest, which will be a 19, which still hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that to him. <coughs> and then the second one goes. The second one goes. Okay, you plant the sun staff of the snake in the ground. From its eyes, these beams of light shoot out flickering one of them impacts uh, into the uh, strange creature which is recovering and pulling itself from the wall back it, uh, even though it's still got the uh, witch bolts pinned into it okay are you doing anything else Rodri? Uh, no that's me no. right Ooh, then let me... I, hang on I'm going to uh... I'm just going to uh, step in front of uh... And get a little bit closer. Okay. My brain. You may regret that. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it gets everybody. Oh shit! It's the belt array. <laughs> Okay, let's have some saving throws, please. I had advantage on that as well, I still fucked it. <laughs> okay, so Rodri and Attica save. Cat, you all hear this terrible, unearthly screaming in your minds. The pain is incredibly intense. It feels like your brain's about to explode out of your ears. Uh, Psychic damage. Damage. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ow. What is with these rolls, man? Okay, you manage to hold on to your witch bolt. It flickers momentarily, but you manage to concentrate on it and hold it. 
Um, with its other attack, it's going to... I have to untick everybody else. Lean forwards, its tentacles reaching for Tiberius's head. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold out my lips as I'm getting ready to kiss. Oh, I'm gonna put all those tentacles in my mouth. <laughs> as its tentacles part and move towards its head, you see in the middle of the <coughs> tentacles this gaping maw with rim, ringed with razor sharp teeth. I got some of them as well. Come on, then. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> you manage to duck down just as you feel the, the cold, slimy tentacles brushing past your ears. Okay, you're up, Tiberius. That dice jumped across the. Uh, it didn't roll smoothly, it went. But you, like, teleported. It's weird. It just tipped off a 20 for me. <laughs> I believe I saw a 20. Mm -hmm. Oh, the um. rolls tonight. Chiaba! Mm. Oof. Jesus. Mind attack me. <laughs> Suck my brains out. I'm going to. Yeah! Okay, as the tentacles come, you just start <laughs> slashing at them with your claws. You rip one of the tentacles off. It lands on the floor and still twitching. And then you reach forwards with your claws and punch right through its uh, belly, through the uh, robes, and dig deep and rip out a huge chunk of flesh. The thing slowly falls to the ground, and you hear a voice in your head. Selix 4 will have his revenge. Are you doing anything else, Tiberius? Yes, my free one armed attack. I'm going to turn around and take all that chat later. Oh. <laughs> what name did he <laughs> say here? Selix 4. Selix 4. Selix 4. Selix 4. Yeah. Yeah, that's <coughs> cool. Cool. Okay. Yeah, well, Okay. Bit slap some face men today. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got my D and D book. Okay. The tentacle the roots are still twitching and writhing on the floor. There's a horrible smell of burning flesh. Um as the smoke falls down from the uh the the thrall that well, Atticus killed. We need his head for evidence, so that's coming straight off. Mm -hmm. So the council, what we're dealing with <coughs> there has proof of alien life form upon these realms and it falls upon us us as a collective have a look around Neil see if there's any other anything else around any books so there's any... lots of uh, strange Reflect glass water. vials and jars with various bodily fluids suspended in dark brown liquid there's the body on the table um, there's a like an, an, a, a notepad Net almost a, a sheath of papers next to the body. Um, okay, uh, on the top one uh, is just a, a simple short message written in a, a strange angular hand that says subject Taran White Rhyme Wave. Below that, Taran Wine Rave. Rhyme Wave. <laughs> Um, I want to go to a wine race. A <laughs> <laughs> wine race. You know that right. that, that name what, seems what, familiar. No, no, wait. What is it? What is it? Rhyme. <laughs> Ta Taman. Rhyme wave. Yeah. Oh, Taman. I yeah. wrote Taran. Taman. You need, you need to enunciate more. Sorry. Go ahead. Rhyme. Wave. Which is a name that seems familiar because you know that Burns' hmm. surname was Rhyme Wave. Oh, is his dad? I knew I recognised that uh. name. Under that is uh, another piece of vellum with strange writing and a very odd anatomical drawing on it. What could it be? 
And yeah. under yeah. that yeah. is another wow. piece of waxed vellum uh, with a coded message on it. Damn it. Not more. Oh, yes. Brain melt. Save you up. Look, what we really want to know is has the alien <laughs> got a ray gun? Well, that's long. Dave, that's your homework. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is the linguist. Okay, just bear with me one second. Translate. Um. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Um, and of course, you've got all the uh, the bottles and things as well. Has he got anything on him? Just the Just black the... robes. Right, I'll pass them to Cat then. Neil. Mm. Might be magical. Yep. Yes. Now it's been pointed out to me that it's like semaphore. Mm-hmm. And Atticus has spent 30 years in the Navy. Could you not just read it? It would take you a few minutes um, to to decode it. You make an intelligence check at advantage. Uh, yeah, it's going to take you about five or ten minutes to go through it, but you think you could probably can decode it. Oh. Dave, your homework has been submitted. <laughs> just to save you a bit of work there, Dave. I just suddenly thought, surely it's it's like, you know. Okay. You get so whilst uh, Atticus <laughs> leans over this paper, his tongue sticking out the side of his mouth as he... Sticking in between my broken teeth. <laughs> as he... Uh, <laughs> tries to translate this thing. What are the rest of you doing? And I'd walk into the laboratory and um and look for looking for anything which would just give us some information you, about his plans, whether he's got any Um there's plans. no more papers in there, but you do find several yes. more interesting objects sort of stacked in amongst the uh the grisly vials and jars. Mm -hmm. You find four ingots of celestial steel. Um, you recognise it immediately, the strange yellowish iridescent glow of the metal looking like the celestial steel dagger that Cat has. You find two amethysts, uh, a healer's kit, three flasks of oil, and a really strange helmet. Uh, that seems to be crafted from coral. Ooh. The helmet, if worn, would completely envelop uh, the head of the wearer. Ooh, maybe it's an old, I, um, old breathing helmet. Um, uh, I can show you a picture of someone wearing it just uh, so you can see what it would look like. Oh, cool. Wow. Looks like one of those underwater things that you Yeah, I was going to say, maybe you can breathe underwater with it on. Um, so I can drop that loot, that loot in the party sheet if you wish. I'll, I'll, I'll grab that healer's kit and just put it in my pack straight away. Okay. Yeah, the rest could go in the party, I think. Inventory healer's kit. I've already done, I've already marked it. Okay. All right. And then the the rest of it goes in the party sheet. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Atticus, uh, you managed to. Uh, you think you've got pretty much got the uh, the message decoded after spending a few minutes with it. I'll read it out and then I'll put it in the chat box for you. Okay, thanks. It says no the following: Druskis, Luzgrigal, Tharcherelli, brothers of the Almighty Zelix Four. Elder brain of the Forian colony of the Great Elithid Empire. Experiments have shown the canopic jars will work. Now we just need the brains to fill them. Then the elder brain will be safe behind the magical defense field. 
Now that our master has successfully grafted onto the great kraken and has assumed control, it will not be long before our plans can bear dark fruit. Oh shit! Brother Th Thiliosk. Do they have a kraken? <laughs> Wow. Well, indeedy. Flabbergasting, isn't it? Okay, let me copy that down. Copy text to clipboard. Where's my journal? Well, at least we've got a hard evidence guess... to take back now. Oh, no, new entry. I guess I know what a canopic jar is, seems kind of heelish. heelish yeah, and... canopic jars are used in temples for storing. Uh, bodily organs prior to embalming and things like that. Mm. So they're collecting... Is the, uh, um, is the body on the uh, table, um, Burns' father, has he had his brain removed or is it... No, he hasn't had his brain removed, but he's, he's um, his arms are stretched out and bound to the table and they have been cut open from shoulder to wrist, the skin pulled back and pinned in place with surgical pins and on one of his arms there's some of the claws that Atticus saw come out of the the knuckles of that thing are being grafted onto the ligaments do they look like celestial steel by any chance they look like adamantine oh. like the ingots sort of a cold steely grey colour precious metals take the claws make a sword make a dagger <laughs> Make a suit of armor. Take the adamant. So these weird on. mind creatures are controlling the great kraken. Well, um, that's <coughs> that's not very good at all. No. We need to get back as soon as possible. Um, Let's finish checking like, this place out. Looks like back. the elder. Yeah, it looks like the elder brains controlling them all, and they're trying to make it tamper-proof. The elder brain. Whatever gave you that idea, Rodri? It's yeah. as if someone has just read a parchment out. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe, maybe I've maybe I've got some of these mind powers from fighting against these monsters, and I can read minds now. Maybe you're so clever, you're the old brain. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. But we have a shield with an eye in it. <laughs> um, it's the well. elder eye. I want to all seeing. I think you did read that out, Mark. Did yes, you? of course, yeah. of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there are there any like locked cabinets or storage? In, in no, they're room? nothing other than these the jars with various bits of anatomical f fluids and organs in them. Lovely. There's a door to the south. Do you want to continue our journey, or have you had enough? No, let's finish looking uh, through this place, see if there's any other evidence that we might need. Okay. Mm -hmm. we'll go let's here. finish this place up and then get out of here as quick as we can. Uh, go see what's I'll up say, here. I'll say, some, I'll say some last rites over. The that picture of that brain and the stat is brilliant, Neil. That anatomical drawing. That's I did so that cool. on the uh, mid journey, the AI thing. Mm -hmm. did you, how, how yeah. did you do it? What did you? It was something like anatomic, uh, anatomical drawing of a mind flayer brain being grafted um, on ancient parchment or something like that. Oh my god! It's very specific. <laughs> That's brilliant. Let's go for a little walk. Perfect. I can't move because I can't see myself. Let me just move. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm moving along with you, Andre. Hold on. I'm trying to move. I can't. <laughs> if I pick you up, it picks up both of you for some reason. Just you can move me too. That's fine. I'm going the same place. Wow. So yes, you right there is a door around that corner. I'll listen at it if I may. You may uh, make a uh, perception check. Advantage, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go. 
It is. <laughs> I get advantage on listening checks. Uh, you do for smell and sound while you're transformed. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> but despite that, your rolls were so shit. You can't hear anything oh, other than no. Hakati breathing over your ear as she's so close okay. to. Okay. I'll just open the door then. You okay. see anything, that baby asshole? Oh, yeah, yeah you, you got smashed in the face. You're a bit of a month now, aren't you? <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm moving up behind Roderick. You crack open the rickety wooden door, revealing a room filled with decaying bunk beds and strewn with smashed crates, barrels, and the like. Several of the beds have chains wrapped around their bases and buckets nearby filled with what can only be human excrement from the smell. Um, but you do see two swaying figures that turn to look at you as the door opens. They're the only friend they are, they? I would like you to roll initiative, please. Oh. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> only common, is it? No, don't do it. Don't do it. Their eyes are blank and milky. And they're unblinking. They are not themselves. Slay them immediately. Let me can save them. them. These ones. Mm. Just under an enchantment. Okay, Tiberius, you you're up first. Right, you could you move me? your blades. Oh, Knock them unconscious. Oh, They've got their minds taken over by those things. Can I move you? Uh, I don't think I can move you. I think I think Cat is going to have to move back because I can't. They can back up our story in front of the court if we can bring them back. There we go. Let's see if we can knock them out. Knock these guys out. Yeah, because if we can bring them back, they've obviously had their minds taken over by the mind player. If we can bring them back, it's more evidence, isn't it? They, they're like eyewitnesses. So I think we should try and knock them out. Okay. Agreed. Maybe Better ways to knock them out than ripping their head off. <laughs> Instead of. Uh, okay, I'll try and knock them out. Ribbons. Tiberius. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Oh, what? We're nearly a 20 still here. Okay, right. uh, you're, uh, you were punching them, were you, rather than... Uh, yeah, 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 you. Yeah. 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 Punched him so hard in the face, he died. Oh, nice Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Knock him out, man. <laughs> okay, you run forwards, you punch <coughs> the first one in the jaw, and the, his, the whites, you, I mean, you imagine his, his eyes are rolling up into his head, but they're, they're white anyway, but he just slumps to the ground. You turn and round and whack the other one as it's coming up behind you, and you catch it under the jaw, as you do so, um, you, you hit it so hard that its jaw just shatters and his head slams back with a sickening thud against the wall and he sinks to the ground, blood coming out of his ears. Oops. Overdid it a bit with that guy. Ah, oh, Duken. So you didn't hear the part about knocking out that Tiberius? Uh, that, they were for knocking out, I just did a critical when I knocked <clears> him out. It was just bad, bad luck. I know, I was trying to roleplay. I can't control my rage. I don't think he's getting up any time soon. Oh. What about this one? We've still got one left. Move over and have a look at that other one. See, sort of like, oh. if it looks like he's asleep. Is he breathing? I mean, can um, I examine Yeah, him? he is breathing very shallowly. Let's get him uh, lay down somewhere. We'll put him on one of the beds. Okay, you drag the body over and uh, put it onto one of the beds. I'll, I'll go over and examine him, see if there's any means, uh, any uh, obvious... Make a medicine check for me. Any obvious means uh, that show that he's under control of something. Like so he's still alive, though his breathing is very shallow and rapid. Um, you think Tiberius probably hit him a little bit harder than he should have done. Um, I'll, try use a, I'll try and use a, uh, my, uh, get my herbalism kit out and see if I can stabilise it. And okay. Whatnot. Yeah, make a medicine, another medicine check. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, you um, you tilt his head back, check his airways free. Um, you take a poultice out, put it on his forehead, check his pulse. After a few minutes, <coughs> his breathing becomes a bit deeper, and as though he's sleeping rather than stressed. Oh, we could come back for him, or otherwise we're going to have to carry him. He's not well. Look at Tiberius. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, put them away behind that one. Yeah, let's go in. It's only going to take, uh, a, well, probably a short time to check this place out. Let's come back for him. Mm hmm. Agreed. I was just going to say, was the door a push or a pull? Because we could maybe, like, lock him in unless there's a key for the door. <laughs> it was a push. Run past everybody. Where'd you all go? <laughs> Tiberius, you, you look up and find yourself all alone in the room. We're going back this way, are we? Right. Different. I could. Yeah. What are we going to do? Go back to that other. Um... I'm just sorry, I'm just going to be mute for one minute. My okay. apologies. Head back up the way you came. Yeah, I was just thinking, uh, what are we going to the far north, are we? What's in there? What did we come in there? That was the, uh, if you remember, there was a secret safe in there with the guillotine blade that nearly Ooh. caught Tiberius. Right. Um, you, there was a chest in there which you smashed open. Um, it had some potions which were broken as the, uh, the chest was smashed. Uh, there's also uh, an adamantine dagger with a uh, wyvern engraving on the blade. Oh, yeah. Which is in the party sheet. Right. Blade. Was some nasty stuff up ahead of us, wasn't it? Back, sorry. Okay. <coughs> so, yeah, Rodri heads back out into the large. Uh, so Sorry, Rich, I don't know why that didn't happen. Into the large cave. Into the large cavern, yeah. Hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, an enormous natural cavern. Um, a pair of rickety looking wooden walkways anchored to a central pillar of stone cross the cavern. Um, you saw things shuffling about in the darkness below, if you remember. Some strange mm. beetle like creatures. And in the far south of the cavern, on the lower level, there's a, what looks to be a glowing light coming from something. Sorry, I wouldn't have moved there, by the way. I'm a little lost, I think we're up here. I couldn't see where I was moving it. Wander over and see yeah, if I can get it. Rodri. See if I can get a better look at it. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to move next to Rodri, see if we can get a better look. Thank you. It appears to be a metal grating, some kind of a door attached to chains that would lift it up, and the uh, the glow is coming from behind the grating. Ooh, it's over here. I mean, but... oh, the, only reason, the only reason we go any deeper or further is if you thought... It's you quite obviously the Rancor. Don't open it up. It's quite obviously a Rancor. <laughs> You think? I think it's protecting something. Do you? I, I, I think, yeah, there's some kind of One teleporter around. in there. Let's see if I can get above okay, it. Hold on. As you wander around, uh, Rodri, to your right, um, you see in the southwest corner of the cavern a huge heap of slag and shattered rock, numerous shovels and carts around it, some half filled with the rubble. <laughs> Um, let me just check something. Oh, oh. Okay. Hmm. Or do you think this has anything to do with these tentacle creatures down here? Or can we leave well alone? I mean, it might be an artifact of the mine and the previous use. Oh, 
Let's open the door. Well, the door is down on the bottom level, so you'd have to go down. Okay. Oh, it's changed up within connected. the same complex that we need to check it all out. Mm -hmm. okay. it, Keep going. We'll come back to this grating later. I'm just going to have a quick nip. All oh, right. There, just to check. There's. Is that the end of the cavern down there to the left? It is. Um, as you approach it, can you make a perception check, please, Atticus? Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, no. It's either very good or very, very bad. Okay, yeah, there's stone rubble, various tools and things lying around there. And as you have a look around, suddenly something leaps at you out of the darkness. Um, this hideous shape, like it, its body is looks like rock and rubble. It moves with a strange jerkiness. But you see this huge beak surrounded by tentacles as it leaps out the darkness and attacks you. Fucking tremors. Uh, Why is everything from out of space? I'm afraid man? it's going to get one attack. Quick. On Atticus as it leaps out of the rocks, uh, sending pebbles behind it. Hey, bro. <coughs> yeah. Do you realise? that we can see all of your rust monsters? Yes, I put them on the map so you could see them in the scuttling around in the bottom of the... Ah, okay. Thing. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Dave. <clears throat> but you see this thing coming towards you and you step back in a panic, your boots skidding on the rock and the pebbles. Uh, but you manage to avoid its tentacles. Can everyone roll initiative, please? Fucking <laughs> shit. I can't. It looks like a next-gen Pokemon, like. <laughs> it's evolved. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Cat, you're the first to react as you see Atticus sliding backwards out of the slag heap. Some large form behind him. I can't see Atticus on the map. Um... Should be able to. He's not far from you. Let me see. Oh. Uh, let me just zoom out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you zoomed in so close, you can only see five <laughs> feet in any direction. Right, okay, I'm going to target the Greg. Mm -hmm. And I am going to... Do, 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 do. I'm just going to cast Firebolt. Just okay. a cantrip. Where anyone starts panicking. <laughs> Okay, um, I will move to here. Okay. Uh, a ball of flame flies out, arcs over Atticus and smashes into the rubble. Uh, there's a small explosion, bits of rock and pebble come firing out from uh, from behind the Grick towards you, Atticus. That was just a spooky. <laughs> okay. The Grick is going to have another attack at Atticus. Tweet. Oh, it's a good hit. Two of its tentacles wrap around your arm and draw you towards this huge mooring beak which then tries to bite you. Let me just check if you're grappled or not. No, you're not grappled. Okay. Rodri. Okay. Oh, well. Ikey. Ikey. Uh, Eldritch Blast it. First one misses. Very good. Very, very good. Second one. It's... Tickle it. Uh, 
Okay. The cavern lights up as your blast goes across the uh, across the rock walls and slams into the beast. It sort of starts writhing around in pain. Jeebus, you attract the most interesting things, Atticus. Uh, I won't knock it back because I think. Look at Roderick. I, th I won't knock it back because I think people want to get down and dirty with it. So that'll be me. Okay. Atticus, this thing's rearing up in front of you again. I'm just going to slashy, slashy. Okay. One. It's a hit. Two. Uh -uh. It's a hit. With one damage. Wow, I've only done, rolled ones for damage so far tonight. <laughs> and one more. It's a hit. And one. Oh damage. my god! <laughs> Okay, your first attack. You hit it with your you hit it with your first attack, but your blade kind of sparks across its rocky skin and doesn't seem to do anything. But you angle That's your nice. next two attacks to bite down into the the flesh of the uh, the beast to account for its armor. Okay. Glad to be a service. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Good job. Are you done, Atticus? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, so we move on to the <laughs> rolling whirlwind of rage that is Tiberius. Uh, I think 30 is my move. Um, your speed is 25. <laughs> <laughs> And you don't move with advantage. Uh, I got this. And I do. This. This. I can attack. So. Missed twice with a crossbow. You basically wiped out a mind flare in one turn. And now you're having the Grick is like. <laughs> Resisting all your attacks. Okay. Oh, I just missed a few. I might have had a few misses. Yeah. The pressure. Cat, you're up. <coughs> yep, it's taking the piss out of us, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get my jollies somehow. I'm going to go with Witch Bolt at level one. Please. Okay. Level two. <laughs> okay, you feel the weave uh, coalesce into a ball of energy in front of you, which you then unleash at the uh, Grick. This kind of string of energy tying it to you now. Okay. That's me. Thank you. Um, this thing is going to... Let's go attack Atticus again, seeing as he's right there. Sorry, Atticus. Well, that makes sense. It hits. <coughs> again, its tentacles wrap around your waist this time and draw you in towards its beak. Get off me! Jesus Christ! Okay. <laughs> Okay, it pulls you in, pulls you in, and the beak just bites down with incredible force on your armor. Um, that is going to leave a bruise. <coughs> Rodri. I need to stop playing with it. <laughs> oh, well, the criticals tonight. <laughs> oh. Okay, <laughs> Rodri's <laughs> had enough. <laughs> He's been down here in the dark, away from his uh, his beloved sunlight for too long. He's had enough, and he unleashes this huge blast of energy which slams the thing back into the uh, rocks and pebbles behind it. And it just lies still. Hmm. Atticus walks over there on the map now. Okay. And as he's going past Rodri, he says... Do that at the fucking start next time. 
I thought you had it. <laughs> I've waved my kind of mangled arm at him. <laughs> um, I just okay. examine. Okay, I clearly didn't have it. <laughs> I go close enough just to peer at the corpse and see if it had um, see if its skull was in. It wasn't showing any brains or anything, was it? No. Before we. No, it doesn't it, look so... like it's been altered in any way. If that's. Mm, so it's, yeah. So it's probably no, nothing to do with the things down there. So. What? What's this place up here? Okay, you can so see the pulley uh, that near where you are with all the chains that lifts the uh, the grate up below. Should we pull it? Surreptitiously uh, glance at, at Atticus. Okay, the uh, your bruised belly uh, feels warm for a moment, and then the pain eases, Atticus. A big fart. <laughs> okay. Just nod at Rodri after that. Oh, oh. Look. Put my hand on the pulley. Should we? I hmm. think so. Might be rude not to. Okay. Okay. Pull okay, the so there's there's a wheel on either side of the pulley system that you can turn to uh to lift the chains up. You'll need someone will need to pull up on the other side as well. Okay, so I'll go to the one side. Okay. Somebody wants no. to go to the other? I'll go to, I'll go to the other side. Then. Okay. You start to Who's rotate the, the wheel. Oh. At, at first it's stuck. And then both of you, with a, with a grimace, heave. And dust sort of trickles down. There's a grinding noise. And then the wheel starts to turn. The, ch the sound of the chains and this metal grinding as the door raises in the cavern below. As it does so, there's a skittering noise. And the strange... Uh, beetle-like creatures all start to move away from it. Um, oh, yeah, it's a fucking rancor. <laughs> yeah. I hate to say it, you might have been right. Just hold uh, it open and look, keep looking down. There's a glowing light that reminds you of flame coming from within that you can't see inside from where you are. I'll go and take a look, I suppose. Can I climb down there, down the mechanism? Down that bit? Um, let me check. I'll just go around the other side like that. Yeah, the crevasse is 60 feet. It's quite a long climb. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. But it's rough walls. You'd think you might be able to, to give it a go if you wish. I'll have a look at Atticus. Uh, see what I can see. Let's see what Rodri can see first, and then I'll decide. There appears to be a short tunnel uh, lined with metal plates leading deeper into the uh, rock. That's all you can make out from this distance. I mean, it's like 60 feet down and... Yeah. No. Um, lined with metal plates? Mm -hmm. Is there anything alien like, about it? Like a corridor in a spaceship? Like mm. metal plates have been hammered into the stone. Thank you. I don't know anything about mining. Um, the other thing you notice, actually, Atticus, is you do notice a, a rolling wave of heat comes up from the open what? entrance. I'm just saying that's how it's caught by the heat. But... Sorry, so really Becky, quiet, Becky, I didn't hear that. Sorry, can you repeat what you said? It didn't come through. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a all Rodri can make out is the ent uh, tunnel entrance, but you can't make out too much of it because it's 60 feet down. But it appears to have oh. metal-lined walls. Yeah. And there's a rolling wave of heat comes out of it and rises up near where Atticus is standing. Okay. And there's this flickering yellow light coming from within. Alrighty. There's like heat coming up from under. Yeah, it remind it looks a bit like a forge of some kind. I was gonna say is it like a forge? Um <laughs> What if you can melt the adamant? 
You can go up there, Hakate. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Well, we've got disfigurements on my face. I don't need any of my fanny as well. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you think you probably could try climbing down, but it's a big drop if you uh, if you fell, Atticus. Might be tunnel then. Can I? What about those ladders on the other side? You can go to the ladders. They're rope ladders. Yeah. But they'll probably attract the rust monsters down there. Hmm. It's all right. Can we? Can I? I go over to the rope ladder and see if there's a way of pulling that rope ladder up and taking it with us. No, it's affixed with metal pins both at the top and at the bottom. Oh right. Ooh, I need to drop down a bit. Mm. Oh yeah. I could maybe cast like living objects on the like lift thing <coughs> and get it to go like horizontal, uh, vertically instead of horizontally. What you could do, living thingy. We could come back to that. Let's have a look at the back of the cavern first. Yeah. I'm coming back to you lot. Whilst oh. we're on this level. Oh, I thought there was like a little um, place system. Let me right. just check. Atticus. You do have a torch. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Atticus. A, um, on the other side of the crevasse, there's a mined out tunnel. The tunnel narrows before opening out. Um, there's a strange maddening sound emanating from the crystals you can see within. Ooh. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh. I'll move. Hold on, Hello, let, sir. let me just check something, sorry. Oh. Yeah, okay. Um, I, uh... Let's have a look at my inventory. Hang on. What are you thinking? Big guy. You can see crystals on the far wall of the cavern glowing with a, a, a strange violet glow. They seem to vibrate with a disturbing energy and there's this strange gibberings and slimy inanities in this strange language issuing from the crystals. Ooh. I open my tinder box, Neil. Mm-hmm. And I take out some of the like um, some of the padding from in there. Yeah. And I put it in my ears. Okay. And now I'm going to wander in. Okay. Um, I would like you to make a wisdom saving throw with advantage, please. Mm. Wisdom shit. Good, I get two rolls of each shit. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> you've got no wisdom and you've got no wisdom okay. teeth. <laughs> uh, just yeah. bear with me one second. Where's that gone? Okay. Now, wisdom teeth are at the back of your mouth. These are all really okay. prominent. <laughs> I'm going to send you a message, uh, Atticus. He's yeah, going to try and attack and kill us all. <laughs> Please do. Um, like I'm also like... going to give you the poisoned condition as well. <laughs> Atticus is just stood in the middle of the chasm, kind of looking around and gibbering inanely. Oh, well, that went well, obviously. That's a curse. Uh, uh, it won't get it. That's a curse. Uh, Can you hear me? What's wrong? 
Uh, As Atticus is standing there, shaking slightly, gibbering these strange sounds, the, the grotesque noise becomes louder and a shape begins to form in the violet light of the crystals. An amorphous mass of liquefied flesh covered in blinking eyes and fang-filled mouths begins to manifest in the room next to Atticus. Um, can I... Oh, I can feel your presence. Oh no, I have trypophobia, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Becky. I will issue trigger warnings in future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't ever watch... Don't ever watch the movie The Blob, if you don't like that. <laughs> oh. The thing what? begins to solidify. I would like everyone to roll initiative, please. I, think oh, I can't wait to kill this thing. Who's it? Well, it was a full stop after my dice number then. It was a little dirt on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. Attica, yeah. uh, you rolled initiative as well. At a disadvantage because you, you're... Slightly insane at the moment. Okay, Kat, you're up first. You got. You can't see what's going on, but you hear the vo the noise is getting louder. You hear Atticus mumbling and and shouting out just strange words. And Rod, you see Roger's eyes widen in horror as he looks at something in the corridor. Okay, Rodri, what is it? What is it? Run up behind Rodri. Okay, you walk around and you see the strange beast that's now manifested, fully solid, in front of Atticus. What is that? Oh, what is that fucking thing? <laughs> it's awful. Oh, you know will. <laughs> yeah. Can I get my bloody combat trap? I think that's like one of them party wipe monsters <laughs> that just consumes the entire party and then we're fucked. Well, let's yeah. find out the yeah. random encounter which killed everybody. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put my hands together and, and cast... Uh, bu -bu -bu. Let's go Witch Bolt again. It's doing me good. At level 2. <coughs> oh, again! <laughs> Right, uh, you thought uh, yeah. you thought the mind flare was an unnatural thing, not of this world. This is something else entirely, and it must be sent back to whatever hell it was issued from. Let me see. Oh. oh. I don't know why that didn't work for damage. Yeah, it's because you weren't targeting it, that's why. Oh, bollocks. You um, but you need to do it. You rolled d20s as well. Oh, shit, sorry. I'm, I'm <laughs> a mess tonight. I don't know what's going on. Right. I'm a mess. It's just one, so I need to do another one. Sorry. So that's, another, cool that's another 20. Okay. Holy crap, did yeah. There he goes. Okay. So these dark beams of energy slam into the thing. As as it impacts it, several of its mouths open up and issue these strange roars in a myriad of different voices. Different polyps and tentacles kind of spring out of its form and then dash back in as it writhes in the pain of the witch bolt. Ooh. Tiberius, like you haven't seen the thing yet, but you've seen... Cat unleash her, uh, her witch bolts. I see it. You, well, can you see it? <coughs> you see it on the map, yeah. yeah. Right, I'm just going to shoot it with my crossbow then. Good lord. Oh, oh my, my god. god, how many crits tonight? <laughs> Awesome. Second bolt. You're out of ammo. No, I'm not. It says you're out of ammo. Let's have a look. Oh. Yeah, that, that was your last, uh, your last bolt. 
which flies uh -huh. into the beast with a great sucking noise, just dis disappears into its amorphous form. Can I make a point here, please? Yeah. Probably in about our third or fourth session, Rich said, unless I say otherwise, I'm going to be collecting my bolts, and he gets 50% of the ones he's lost back, doesn't he? It does, but how, and he needs to then untick them from his thing because I can't keep track of ten sessions no, worth. No, I don't know, of... but therefore, is it all right for him to untick fifty percent? Mm, you can untick one d eight. So I'll do one d six just to be fair. Five. But I will count the two I've just fired. Okay. So I've got three left. So, does that last one damage them? Okay, yeah, it does. Okay, are you done, Tiberius? Uh, yeah. Okay. I only scratched it, look. I only fucking scratched it. It's hard. Okay, this is going to be a little bit complicated, but it's going to take a lair action. Oh, it's legendary. Oh, God. Uh, and it is... Okay, let me just see if I can do this first. <laughs> this is rude. <laughs> Its body yeah. suddenly rips in half. Oh. And there are now two of them. It splits like a cell, uh, uh, mutating down the middle. And there are now oh, two of these beasts. Oh, we need to leave. The original one. We need to leave now. <laughs> we really, really need to leave. <clears throat> uh, uh, towers above Atticus. <laughs> and mouths open up in its form as it bears down on you, Atticus. It's going to try and bite you. Hits. See? Oh shit! Oh, can I? Uh, There's two of them. Can I try and take D6 off that roll to hit, please now? Uh, yes, you can. I love where. So, so it was a 17. What's your arm count, <coughs> Atticus? What's your armor class, Atticus? Oh, sorry, 16. Yeah, it still hits. Oh. So myriad of mouths open up and they latch onto you, uh, Atticus. Uh, and then a tentacle is also going to come out and try and hit you. Jesus. Even if I rolled a six, it'd still hit him. And you are grappled as it wraps around your waist. With fire. Um. Okay, that's that one. This one squeezes its form through the gap. Oh God! And moves up to Tiberius. Uh, again, as it does so, different eyes keep popping up in its flesh as it kind of rolls across the ground, and then mouths suddenly open up all across it in front of you. Oh, like a hoot, a dog. Just, just keep us, just, just keep us healed, Dave. It misses with its bite. A tentacle comes out. 
Ooh. And you step to the side as it slams down into the ground next to you. Rodri. Now, right, Rodri, now you're within 10 feet of it. Right. Yeah. Um, the ground and the stone around the thing. You're not sure if it's happening in your mind or if it's really happening. St but the stone under your feet suddenly becomes dough-like. And your feet sink into the stone. Shit. Your speed is reduced to zero unless you make a strength saving throw if you want to move. Uh, does that take an action? No. Okay. It takes your like movement. <coughs> so yeah, make a strength saving throw. No. no, you can't. It's like you're trying to walk through thick, cloying mud and you're just stuck. I want to add onto presence one mm -hmm. my uh, true strike effect. I can never remember. Do I put it, I put it on the monster? Look. Uh... Actions. It says target. And then Two it's strike. Um. <clears throat> yeah, so are you targeting it? Uh, yeah. Target it, then click the effect button on True okay. Strike. <coughs> yeah. Okay, done that. <laughs> then I want to untarget it and target Atticus. He looks okay. a bit. Is True good. Strike an action? No, it's a. It's a. Uh, it's an action. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I'll target um, Atticus. And. Uh, two, okay, three, yeah, that's a bonus four. action, so you can do that, yep. Nobody's listening. Okay. So Atticus, you sit, feel your wounds start to heal up, though you're still feeling sick, your mind's still swimming, and you're still muttering inane it is. But even through all that, I know it's Rodri, and I can't <laughs> take it save me again. <laughs> Anything else, Rodri? Oh. No, that's me. I can't move. Okay, Thank Atticus, you, if again, the ground below you, Atticus, is suddenly dough-like, like thick mud. If you want to move, you need to make a strength saving throw. This, this is... I, can't, I guess I can't do anything, really, can I? You can do whatever you want. You have the poisoned effect on you, and you're grappled, so they will be taken into account. So you'll probably be rolling at disadvantage and stuff. Okay, I'll just try and attack it. You gotta break out or something. God, he's yeah. trapped. <laughs> you can take an action to try and break out of its grapple. If you want to do that, or you can just attack uh, it. I'll do that. Okay, let me sit, just see what you need to do that. Um. Okay, it's so a strength check, please. Come on. Okay. Okay, because of the, the strange sounds in your mind, you don't feel as strong as normal. Okay, that's me. That's your action. <laughs> uh, did you want to take any bonus action or move? Um, I'll take a bonus action. I'm not sure I'll be able to think about it though if I was, but I'll do my second win. Okay. Okay. Cat. There we go. You still have your Witch Bolt on Presence 1 if you want to continue the damage from that as your action. Short and sweet. It was a level 2 that it I did was. it. So. Yeah. I'm going to this. <laughs> it works. Oh, oh, oh wow! Okay, you've seen these things come crawling out the cave towards you. You can't see Atticus anymore, but you you know your friend's in danger, and it just gives you added impetus. And there's like this pulse of energy that shoots down the uh, the chain of energy uh, between you and the creature, and you hear it's roaring in the distance. 
Uh, would you like to do any bonus action or move? I don't think I have bonus actions, thank you okay. for reminding you me. You can move, but you'll <laughs> need to make a strength saving throw first. No, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Tiberius. Uh, FYI, if I lose, I think, a couple more hit points, I'm going blood rage. <laughs> Just <laughs> FYI. Uh, it's the price you pay for the meat shield. <laughs> uh, uh, I think I'm gonna hit it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hit it? God, I, oh. hit it. I mean, it's a big so... thing, so yeah. Oh, you're so big. <laughs> 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 so big, do I go for the last cycle or do I swallow a healing potion? Ah, fuck oh. it. I'm gonna go for another. No! Oh, no! <laughs> We've gone from criticals to uh, automatic. Criticals. I am done, Neil. <laughs> this thing is terrifying as its eyes, eyes and mouths keep popping up in random places and then disappearing on it. Ah, uh, you uh, Did you just right. say criticals to shitticals? Because I want to <laughs> <Yeah>. wet myself. <laughs> 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 You're so funny. Oh. It's very <laughs> Why didn't I come up with that? Okay. Um. Right. <laughs> I would like, uh, no. because it's going to take a lair action. Tiberius, oh, no. Rotary, and Cat to make a wisdom saving throw. Tony. <clears throat> so, that one is pretty bad. Okay. You all pass. You only need a DC 10. But you feel the strange voices in your mind telling you what to do. Oh wow. But you manage to fight them off. Oh, if you fail, it, what you do next is completely random. I've got a table. Jesus. Okay. I've got no room for any more voices in my head. The inn is full. Oh my guy. <laughs> okay, this thing is going to, before it tries to bite you, it rears back, another mouth opens in its chest, Atticus. And then it spits this horrible, thick, viscous goo at you. Nice. Um, I would like you to make... Oh, there you go. You should have a roll come up. I, I would like me to make this roll also. Let's see what... I make it. Wow. Okay, I think... Okay, the glob explodes in a blinding flash of light as it impacts on your chest, but you've shut your eyes just in time and avoid being blinded. Uh, it's then going to try and bite you. <coughs> yes, please. Sure. Ow. It bites you with several of its mouths. Um, I'd like you to make a strength set. Save as well. It should have come up. Yes, there it is. <laughs> no, don't make that one. Oh, no, it is. Well, 13, yes, you do make it. You stagger almost knocks from your feet. You. Okay, the next one <laughs> is going to use its bl blinding spittle uh, it's within 15 feet of it, so. It's Tiberius, Cat, and Rodri. Okay, several mouths open up and these glowing globs issue forth as it spits at you. Okay, you all manage you. to uh, close your eyes without being blinded by the flash as it impacts. Uh, it's then going to attack Tiberius. A very little friend. One year old response to this Christmas. Okay, Rodri, you're up. Okay, I'm going to try the old uh, strength soon through. I move! 
I move. Yeah, you can move. It's difficult um, terrain, by the way, so it's half movement, but you can move. We'll move to the edge. Okay, you're actually you're just about far enough away from it now where the ground suddenly seems to solidify under your feet. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Rush wants to go the edge of the crevice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so the presence won. Because we need more bombs to fight. Yeah. Hold on, you're targeting the presence one. You can't see the presence one, I'm afraid. Oh yeah, you can. You, you can yeah. see it as yeah, it's up here in the form of the thing in front of you. Oh wow. Nice. Okay, these streaks of this energy shoots out. It looks like it's going to hit the, the second presence, but this hole just appears in it and the bolt goes straight through and slams into the one near Atticus. And then, so the next person who attacks it has got advantage on it, so it might be a very good idea to try and attack it. And with my last healing light on Atticus Baron. Okay. Great. <laughs> That's better than nothing. Well, it's pretty close to nothing. But Atticus. You're still grappled by the uh, tentacle, but I'm this thing is glowing it. with a faint light now that from at from Rodri's spell is makes it... it a better target. I'm going to try and get free again. Okay. You're kidding me! I rolled a twenty and a one. Wow. Okay, and any bonus actions? No, that's it. You're struggling quite weakly. Your mind isn't right. These voices are still in your head. Cat. I'll just go with the witch bot again, please. Okay, yeah. Okay, more pulses stream down the line of energy into the cavern behind. You hear small explosions and strange sounds coming from within. Anything else, Kat? No, there's no point in moving right now, thank you. Tiberius. I'll move to there. Uh, hold on, uh, can you make a strength saving throw? <coughs> move. Okay. Uh, the ground is like sticky dough. But yeah, you managed to force your way over there. So the, the stone making strange sucking noises as you lift your feet in and out of it. Oh, we need business now. Yeah, he's had enough. Business. Yes. Come on. Ooh. Okay, you start tearing into it, and bits of the beast are sort of lying on the ground. Some of the bits sort of crawl back into the main body and get reabsorbed, but others of it have kind of turned into like this pale grey flesh that's just lying there. It's looking pretty rough. Anything else, Tiberius? No, done. Let's see if it's... Uh, the bad news is it's blinding spittle has recharged. So it's going to try that on you first, Atticus. Okay, bring it on. Let me make this save with amazing... <laughs> okay, you do. With amazing success. That was um, it's now going to attack you. Oh, this well, with its bites. Shoot, be do, be do. Any roll? You rolled a 16. Can I put my last d6 curse thing on him to stop him going down? Um, you haven't used a reaction this round, so you can, yeah. D6 off that, 5 off 11, that, so that, I presume that's going to miss, isn't it? Might, yeah, it should do. So that's 18. Mm. Even I've got better AC than that. Uh, hold on. 
25 off. Where is he? Uh, four, four, nine. Okay, Jeez. several of the eyes in the beast sudden, are suddenly covered by this red blood-like liquid, um, which means it puts it off as it goes to attack you and it misses. You don't get the lingering injury. Okay. Uh, and it's going to try and get you with its tentacle as well. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no! The misses. Yeah! Wow. Oh, yeah. This, one, this, this one doesn't recharge its blinding spittle, so it's just going to attack Tiberius. Oh, God, I saved it. He rolls a 19. Oh! oh. Okay, the first thing that happens is I want you to make a, there you go, strength saving throw. Oh, so Tiberius is not prone. On your ass. And I believe, because he's lost over half his hit points. <coughs> let me just check. Uh, what the bloodlust does to Tiberius. Oh my god. Um, uh, where is it? Is it under there? Yeah. So, at the start of your turn, you must succeed on a DC 8 wisdom saving throw. Or move towards the nearest creature which you must attack. Okay. okay. Oh. Uh, and it's going to try its tentacle attack on you as well. Uh, it's a screenshot of an error I got now. Okay, Before thank you, mate. Cool. Um. It hits you with its tentacle, and you are now grappled. Oh, that's good. He can't charge after people. Well, not while he's grappled, and the thing's still alive. Ripping him to pieces. Okay, Rodri. Um, I have a feeling that I might need to save one of my spell slots to do with Tiberius at the later <laughs> So... I will, I will just blast this thing into the ground! That should be with advantage. And I'll roll it again. Yeah. Just in case it gets a 20. No, it didn't. Okay. Damage for the first one is... It's done. Okay, Atticus, this thing in front of you suddenly explodes as a beam of light slams into it. And you're just covered in viscera and gore. My Am I free from its mind fuck? You are free from its mind fuck. The <laughs> tentacle grappling you turns this pale grey colour of dead flesh and just sloughs to the floor. Um, I'm going to do my, sec my second bolt at the second on one. Yeah. There you go. Okay, yes. My second bolt at the second Oh, God, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> You hear a voice in your mind, Rodri. Well done, my son. That's it. The old kills the ultimate. Father? <laughs> right at the end. And the, uh, it. the strange noises finally cease. And uh, I think we'll take a two minute break with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you, look, oh, if you looked at our best kills, Mark's got uh, Gilgar the Defiler, you've got the Emerald Queen, Dave's got Thousand Teeth, and I've got Fif uh, Phil Philosk. It's like they're yes. all like like the uber baddies. Name <laughs> Mark. <laughs> We've got one each. Like. I don't know. The Queen wasn't like that okay. hefty, was she? Right. I'll be back in a minute or two, guys. All right. Already. <laughs> He's adding me back anyway. Show the council that puppy. Good job, team. <coughs> <coughs> OK. 
go team. Go sister, go sister. <laughs> go sister, go. I just think it's absolutely hilarious that nearly every fight the party expends at least a third of its ability on keeping Atticus up. <laughs> I just, if I wasn't such a drain on the part, it's brilliant. I you know a drain. Oh, I think it's great. I have to grab a drink. All right. Yeah, me too. Ribby, 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 ribby. Yeah. I'm gonna have it before nine. Um. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. It's a school night. Is everyone uh, back or is... No. Okay. I'm back. Welcome back. That was an interesting fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that could have done for a yeah. slap. That was a nasty fight. I like it. Yeah, the, um, when I hit the one, I hit the one next to Mark with the, um, <coughs> and we'll just blast, and then I hit the one near us, the one near Tiberius, I made sure I used repelling blast, so all the goo exploded over Atticus. <laughs> 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 in eyes and teeth. <laughs> I have returned. Okay, we'll well just, um, just wait for Becky, I think. I'm back. Okay, let us resume. So, as the thing explodes, first of all, the light from the crystals in the chamber fades. Oh, and funny. Atticus is left standing there, covered in viscera, his eyes wide in the horror of what's just happened. Just turn around and look at with my arms out to oh. the side, like, <laughs> Is what? this shit for real? <laughs> <laughs> Shake my head and then stop towards them. Have a good look around the things, actually. Uh, yeah. Can anyone, yeah. anyone heal me? Yeah. So I don't... Oh yeah. No. Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, so um, we are kind of still in combat at the moment. It's Atticus's go. 
I'm just I'm gonna do what I said I do. I just turn around, and look at them, and kind of hold my arm. That's my go. Okay. Cat. Right. I will heal. Oh, I will run up to Tiberius. Mm -hmm. And I will cast Cure Wounds at level three. Okay. Ooh. Touch me. Nice. As you approach Tiberius, he looks at you and he snarls and he snaps at you as though he's about to attack. <laughs> a red mist in his eyes. But as you reach out and uh, pull the power of the weave to sink into him and heal him, the rage fades from his eyes. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're out. Of Call me a bad boy. Um, you feel the strange presence that was at the back of your minds ever sin since you've entered the mine here now fades away. Um, Cat, your danger sense doesn't fade completely, but it sinks to a low ebb. No, so we were supposed to do that. So either the rust monster's going to kill us or there's someone else still here, guys. Are you okay, Atticus? It might be those bugs down there in the pit. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I nearly lost you. We've got to go and check that metal tunnel out, and then we're done here, I think. You and I... Do you, Nothing else we... in this room where the blob died. Just mounds of grey, cold, clammy flesh. Wow. Um, the crystals which were glowing have stopped glowing now. They faded um, as well. Um, there doesn't appear to be any, anything else. Maybe in there. move out into the corridor just a little bit here and take a rest on this ledge for 15 minutes. That sounds good. Uh, would you like me to look at your wounds? Is it worth me looking <coughs> at your wounds and getting a med kit out? I think it might certainly help, Rodri. Thank okay. You. Right, I'll use a healer's kit on okay. that. Make a medicine check, please. On the. Okay, yeah. You could uh, work your magic. Okay, maybe if I get it. You may use a hit dice to heal. <laughs> at, at least it wasn't a one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I lost my last dice healed you for a one. The med kit did a two. <laughs> for God's sake. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, but if we have a 15 minute rest, I get to roll as many as oh, I want. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I see. Get out. Do you want to do that? Yeah. I'm Yeah. Great. Yeah. I'll get okay. a spell slot back. Okay, yeah, you can take a short rest. Well, you can okay. roll your hit dice if you have some and you want to. I'm, I'm going to inquire in my mind, Neil. Uh, um, um, well, that, that yeah. strange voice. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, hello? 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 Make a... Um, make a percentage roll for me. Mm -hmm. Can you right. take... Can you take four hit points off me as well? No. I have to oh, recast crimson and right after a short rest. Don't. When you get a sec. Try Yeah, there's no response. I wonder if Neil's using the old way of doing it in D and D, where if you're trying to summon a deity, you need a zero one or something. <laughs> just, it's just. I don't need any more voices in my head. On. Okay, you sit down with your backs against the wall of the cavern, breathing heavily, yeah. trying to process what just happened. You understand now the tales of this place, that the miners who worked here were driven mad by something, and that's why the mine was shut down all those years ago. Well, maybe we can tell the, uh, they can open the mine again. It might be useful with the upcoming war to have a working mine so close to the city. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good point. 
It's very good point after this. Um, maybe we should just. I'm going to stroll into the, the box, room. Aren't we? Stroll into the room and check to see if it's got any of these alien glyphs around or anything. You have a good look round, um, other than the cold, dead flesh of the beast, um, the cold grey crystals, there's a few bones in there, and rubble, that's all All appears to be. A bit barmy. Mm. It's an ancient evil, nothing to do with it, what we've recently encountered, I don't think. How are we going to deal with this, those creatures down there, there's so many of them. <laughs> Maybe I can sneak down and head into the. Ooh, what's happened to your token, Tiberius? <coughs> oh, okay. <coughs> are you, you jumping down the. Uh... I'm moving 15 feet first. Okay, but that it... moves you on to down the crevasse. <coughs> they have seemed to avoid. Once we oh. lifted, lifted that grate, they there's seem like to a, avoid uh, it. About 30 feet down, there's like a, a yeah. little ledge. So you, Let's see if we can climb down. So. Oh yeah, I'm with you. Mhm. Mm uh. So Rodri heads for the rope ladder. Then I'm gonna go to the rope ladder too. Yeah. Okay, the ladder is has been pinned into the wall with iron spikes. You test it gingerly. There's a little bit of dust comes away, but it does hold your weight. I'll go down to the first level and then go all the way along as far as I can away from the rust monsters next to where Rodri is. Okay. All the way down. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then see if we can get down there. Okay. The uh, you you would have to climb down. It's another thirty feet down from there. Okay. I've got a, I've got fifty foot worth of rope. I pulled my rope out of the pack. Maybe um somebody would like to hold this with me, and you could tie yourself off on the other end. We could lower you down. Yeah, sounds good. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe we should consider the weight of what we're letting down. Maybe we should go for one of the lightest of us. Just looking at Tiberius. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I'm a good idea. Uh, Tiberius, come here. We'll, we'll. I don't think they're. They want to get too close to the. Uh, the glow. If we we could lower you down here on this end of this rope, you're only light. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so that you lower a rope down over the edge, and uh, Tiberius can scramble down the rope if he wishes. Rodri. Yeah. You didn't have to do that, you know. Do what? Called him over here and tried to explain it to him. I'd say it's only fair. Well, no, you just throw, you just throw his toy off and he'll chase oh. it. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Squeaky toy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to climb down the barrel. Okay, yeah, you climb down the rope. Uh, you're in the bottom of the cavern. You hear the skittering of the uh, the beetle-like creatures in the distance. Right, I, I need to adjust something, guys, so just bear with me one second, please. Okay. Um, oh, no, hold on. I think that should do it. Let me just check. Uh, open that, open that. Okay, you should be able to see in now if you go around the corner. Tiberius? Yeah, I can, yeah, I can yep. see in there. Okay, just, I just need to move you one second, sorry. Okay, a huge adamantine grate covers the entrance to what is obviously a forge of some kind. You can make out the gaping maw of an enormous furnace, as well as half a dozen anvils, a well, and a large metal chest in the chasm beyond. Um, yeah, so I can get through that chamber. You can move into there now, but as you do... Hold on. Crossbow trained on those. 
Critters. Something moves around the corner. You see the light from a strange form as it moves around the corner. <laughs> Ooh. My fire's not going to do anything to it. It's going to resist me. Oh, shit. <laughs> it is. It's the Rancor equivalency. It just stands. It stands there. At this strange form of huge form of flame, staring at you with burning embers for eyes. Try speaking to it. No, you shut the gate. What was that? I can't gate. hear you, Tiberius. Shut the fucking gate. What? <laughs> Speak louder. Takes a step out. Run up. Okay, I'll run up. Okay. As fast as I can. You run back up to the top and you can you can start lowering the gate if you wish. I will. Okay, right. But there's a big chest in there, Rich. Oh, the elemental then. Fine. We won't we won't we chest, have to, it's not right up the corner. Yeah, we do. We do. We, we might need what's in the chest. It is our mission to investigate and shut this operation down. We need to take this thing down. Looking at you, magic users. Oh, that's partially me. It's not red right on the combat tracker yet though, guys. It's just standing the there, staring at you. It appears to be staring at you. Talk to it, Tiberius. It wants us to kill the beetles. Talk Greetings. To Greetings, oh fiery god. Um, Anyone speak Ember? <laughs> let me see what languages it speaks. <coughs> okay. Um, at the sound of your voice, a hole, a dark hole, opens up below the eyes. Ask Okay. Ask nightly. Can I say it in Elf? Do you understand now? He's just standing there staring at you. Uh, you didn't understand the language. No. I'm pretty sure you didn't. Let me just double check your language. I'm pretty sure you don't speak ignorant. No, you don't. No. Um. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <coughs> Bit of a Mexican standoff here, guys. We want the chest. And yeah, no. What the fuck do we do? Um. Well, I think we'll figure it out. I think. Um, I mean, the rest of you can't see this. It's only Tiberius can no. see this. You I see him standing at the doorway, sort of saying greetings to something inside. He, Tiberius is lit up with this orange flickering glow. Tiberius, what what can you see? There's a fire elemental. Could I'm not lowering the gate, Neil, but I'm ready to start okay. lowering it. Could that not be part of the mine? Um, well, if, why is he changing? It's up? a for Well, if it's a forge or a smelting yeah. place, I if imagine a fireman. Oh, oh God! I'm sorry, I've got to stop chipping in. We're not there. I imagine a fire elemental would be quite handy if you were running. Yeah, the time is there on his own, so uh, I will. I will stand to the side and beckon for him to leave if he so wishes. Oh, your eminence. It just slowly turns its head and watches you as you move across the entranceway. It just stands there. I, I back in for it to come out. It doesn't do anything. Freedom! I don't like it. want to free an elemental? I might be pretty angry. Look, mate, just fuck off. Uh, leave the chest. I won't be any really trouble. <laughs> <laughs> what? We want what's in your chest, because we're greedy adventurers. Well, are you two going to come down and fight this thing? If we, if, I'm assuming that's what we've got to do to get to the chest, so and we've got to kill it. So are we? Uh, or we I just want to fight it. Ooh, I think it's part. I think it's part of the um, mine op original mine operation. We just leave it be. I mean, whoever takes over the mine again will be happy to see that their pet fire elemental is still intact. 
They might reward us. I say you're appealing to Tiberius's base of nature. What's in the chest, though? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> can you let it go? Well, can you? Or are you coming down? I'm not coming down. A couple of the, uh, one of the rust monsters starts to scuttle towards you a bit and then it stops. It's, it's tentacles twitching and then it slowly backs off again. Come Tiberius, let's, let's just make sure the rest of the upper mines is clear of these. We better close that gate then, aren't we, and leave it in there. So you're going to close the gate? After a Tiberius has got up. No, I'll stop it from getting out. You keep closing the gate. Well, then the rust monsters will attack you. Maybe. Good luck. Well, if it gets out, we've got to fight it. Okay, so it's Tiberius and, and uh, Rodri are moving up towards the gate. Uh, actually... I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to where the rope is. Okay. I'll be there uh, come, a yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on up, Tiberius. And then once you're up safe, we can close the gate. Okay. Now. Then pull me up. Okay. Yep. They pull yeah. you up. Sounds good. All right. Watch it. Coil the rope back up, stick it in my pack. Okay. Head to the upper floor. Are you going to uh, lower the grate? Yeah. Oh. Okay, hold on, I just need to adjust the walls again then. It's the only way through though. To the what's in there. I don't know. Okay. You're so shit. It's full. Chest. <laughs> Treasure. <laughs> okay. Okay. You clamber back up out of the uh, chasm. As the gate slams shut, the rust monsters start to skitter down again. Um. Just the map. Uh, I'm going to head to this green patch of. Okay. Stuff. Yeah. Green patch of algae that's glowing slightly on some rocks. Go through it gingerly. Mm -hmm. Past the purple patch. Uh oh. Oh, webs. Oh, immediately step up. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't like spiders' webs. They're usually. Moving up behind Rodri. Leads of spiders. Just take a good look, see at uh, the web, see if there's any anything moving. There's some small spiders, but the biggest one's probably the size of the palm of your hand. How is my danger sense? Is that still? Yeah, it's still tingling a little bit. Oh, wow. Back to where we came in, then. Oh, I've jumped on top of oh, you. jumped on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Stop squishing me. <laughs> I think, I think this place is. Ooh. I think this place is as safe as it ever was. Why did was. we come in? 
Where did we come in? This little one on the way you came in. Yeah, that's it where Rodri is. We overshot. Oh, we have to go back and rescue those people. Oh yeah, let's go back oh. and check on that guy. Okay. I'm not going to bother doing it on the map, no. but we're heading back. You head back up. round to the uh, the Good living name. quarters with the broken furniture in. He's still passed out on one of the beds, but he's still alive. Um, maybe we can carry him between us. We'll take him, yeah. We'll take him with us. Okay. Sling his arm around our shoulders. Because even if he's in his... <coughs> knocked out of it and he is still mesmerized he will be able to be evidence mm -hmm. and say look this is what they do to people's brains he's more than just evidence he's like he's a living person he could be somebody's relic we, I, that was burns father on the table this is some could be somebody else's father so are you heading back out of the mines <laughs> is it is it your father i believe so no i, I never I, I don't, I can't remember him my father then why do we give a fuck, Rodri? Look, grab a leg. Someone's got to, I think. Okay, you take the body between you, and you drag him out. Are you leaving the mine? Yeah. Okay, yes, please. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Then head back and check out. You make. <coughs> you make. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> <laughs> 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 Try again. <clears throat> you alright? No. <clears throat> You're not <clears throat> choking, are you, mate? You're okay. I'm okay. <clears throat> okay. You, ma <laughs> you make your way back up the stairs and through the entrance corridor, and you come out into a sky under a sky filled with stars <clears throat> outside the mine entrance. Your danger sense has now uh, disappeared. Um, Cat. Wow. No. Another, another successful probe into the enemy's uh, plans. Yeah, we have Let, much head back. Let us head back and explain. Yeah, I think we can be happy with that little trip. Did you get something to do? Wasn't there a side quest we were supposed to do as well? Or have we done that? Didn't see any icons. <laughs> <laughs> no question marks. No, no man standing by the entrance with a big exclamation mark above his head. <laughs> um, I, I took the flayer's head. Okay. To, to Amber Cove then. Okay, let's quickly just sort 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 out the treasure in the who's having what in the party sheet. So we have four adamantine ingots. Who wants those? Uh, who's, I, I mean, don't think I've got much. Oh, I, I mm. got rid of one of my suits of armor. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take them if they want. I was going to say, I thought you were making a sword or something. Who wants the adamantine ingots? Who's got the most? Who's got? Lots? I wouldn't mind. I'm on, I, I want to get a shield made out of one. But so it's, so it's like Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're very close to your capa carrying capacity. I can put them in your inventory if you want, uh, Tiberius, and see if... Yeah. How, heavy, how heavy do they weigh, each? Okay, hold on. Yeah, you're at your capacity now. I think I'm carrying some studded leather I don't need to. Can I, can I drop that, please? You can. I'm carrying some studded leather. I'm going to drop one. There you go. Um, carrying some leather. You're still above your carrying capacity there. Drop my hunting trap as well, please. Now. Although I don't think it's as it's not carried, so it's <laughs> going to... Yeah, that I've wasn't marked of... as carried. Neither of those were marked as carried, so... Uh, what was the glamoured? I've got about 80 weight left. By the way. Bonus plus one. What's the other one? The glamoured leather was, um, gives you, if you, you, you haven't got that equipped, have you? 
No, I've got what no, you have got it. armored. Take that off. Yeah, I have got it equipped, haven't I? You did have, yeah. Yeah, that's the one that um that Skarin was wearing, I think. I've got the one that changes uh appearance. Yeah, I? that's that's the one you that's the glamoured one. Yeah. Uh, there you go, it's equipped. So you can't carry any more anyway. You've got the ingots, but you can't carry any more. I'll take the coral helm. Okay. Uh. So. Can we okay. put the can we put the disturbing shield in the in the party treasure? Well, someone's got to really. carry it. Oh. Um, you have some alchemist supplies. Who wants those? I'll have them, please. That's probably a good call. How much weight have I got? Uh, there are two amethysts. I've got hundred, well, about ninety left. Who wants the amethysts? I'll take the amethysts. Okay. There is the adamantine dagger with a wyvern engraved on the blade. I think you should have that, um, Atticus, because you were because you were slashing on the water and it was doing fuck all. Yeah, okay, I'll take the dagger. Okay. And finally, three flasks of oil. Have you got a lantern? Mm. I have, yeah, I've got a storm lantern. Alright, alright. Do you want the oil? Yeah. 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 Why not? Yeah. Okay, now we go. Yeah. Yeah. So you divvy up your loot. Sweet. Oh. That's a lot. Okay, so it, the moon is. Um, let's have a look what the moon's doing. Um, yeah, Luna is waxing gibbous in the sky, um, so it's it's you know it's light enough to see by. Um, oh. Celine, the blue moon is is uh, is a half moon at the moment. Nice. So we only trod. Tread back to Ambaco. Make haste. Yeah, okay. wounded and battered. So you're heading straight out to Ambaco. Are you resting at all, or are you heading straight there? Straight out. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll head straight back. Yep. Okay, let me just check something. Very important news. Okay, uh, so Neil, I'm wearing the wrong armor. I oh, know. Glamoured, I'm wearing armor. Yeah. Yep. Sell that other one. Then. Okay. Okay. You head back along the uh, the track back to Amber Cove. Um, it's not particularly well maintained, um, but you keep the uh, Amber ba the waters of Amber Bay on your right hand side as you walk along the cliff top path, and you make it back to the city. Um, what time do we get? What time does it feel like that we get to the it's, city? Um, it's early morning. The sun's just coming up as you get back. Ah. The sun's just have followed us. <laughs> I think we should report straight back to the keep. Tell them what we know, and then get some rest. Okay. Seems like a good idea. They'll probably be awaiting our report. Sounds good. Okay. I did share the town map, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You head back towards uh, the keep. Uh, the guards on the gate recognise you this time as you approach and ask you to wait while they go and fetch someone. <laughs> it's <just> covered in <laughs> just Yeah. <laughs> I presume right. you've cleaned yourself up a bit. Yeah, washed off in a stream or something. Two little eye holes. 
<laughs> okay. Right, so after a few minutes, one of the guards comes back and asks you to uh, follow him, and he leads you through these now familiar, slightly crumbling corridors of the keep um, back into the main audience chamber. It's currently empty. There's no one in there, but the guard just stands quietly at the doorway. I think they know who we are by now, don't they? Just wait, wait. until you would get summoned, yeah. Just stand there quietly. Okay, not sure what's happening with the sound here, sorry. Ready to see that? the Baron, if we may. Okay, after about ten minutes, uh, one of the doors at the far end of the chamber opens and Archduke Redax strides out. He looks up and sees you there. Ah! My friends, you have returned from the mine. What news? It's... 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 it's yeah, it's... um, It's bad news. The, the Kraken... The Kraken is awake and it's been controlled by these strange creatures who... We found in the mine, those things with tentacles or mouths. They're controlling the Kraken, they're controlling everything. Uh, um, he looks slightly confused. Slow down, my friend. I'll, I'll re what? as he says that. I'll reach into the bag and pull out the head and go. The head of the general, looking dead pleased. <laughs> His eyes widen slightly. What manner of creature is this? We believe it is not of this world. It's a mind sucker. Um, uh, Atticus, you found that that note. Perhaps you should tell the, the Baron. Okay, I'll, I'll relay what's in the notes. Um, hang on, journal. So I'll show him the note that says the experiments have shown that canopic jars will work. Now we just need the brains to fill them and the elder brain will be safe behind the magical defense field. Now that Amastra has successfully grafted onto the great kraken and has assumed control, it will not be long before our plans can bear dark fruit. They can take over your minds, Lord, and then pull forward that guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, he falls to his knees and bows his head in front of the Archduke. It's true, all of it, all of it's true, sir. I, I was held captive under the thrall of this strange beast in the mine. When we found him, his mind was gone. We had to subdue him and knock him out for his mind to return. Hmm. Every time you darken my doorway, my friends, you bring d darker and darker news. It seems well, there are other things afoot, moving but in the shadows behind the scenes. But our first, my first priority must be the defense of the city. I suggest that you rest yourselves, and then when you find the time, make your way back to Kemoth and in inform the Senate of what you've discovered. Yeah, should we go by land? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to meet that Kraken thing. No. Uh, S speed. As Let's you will, Lord. Yeah. Um, where are we staying, by the way? What's the name of that? The Dragon oh, Turtle we... Inn. We're staying at the Dragon's Turtle, should you need us, Lord. Thank you. Once again, we are in your debt. If we Sorry, discover that's... anything to do with these attacks, I will send word. Oh, um... My, my lord, we people, lord. We think, we think the mine is now safe to operate, and will be of some use in the upcoming battle. Though there was a very big fiery um, creature in there. We left it alone. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was part of the original mine workings, but we didn't. We, it's still there. It didn't attack us, but. I will see if Flamesinger has some records relating to that. But if the mine is safe, it may be worth sending out a scouting party. It is a valuable resource. Mm. Thank you once again. I will ensure that word of your service reaches the ears of the Emperor. I just want to be a bad You know where we are. Indeed. Bow and walk out. 
okay. I'll just walk out. Of you. I'll pop the head on. I'll pop my head on the head on his desk just before Single I go. <laughs> <laughs> give, a little, give a little chuckle. Give a little chuckle on me as way you, out. As you leave the room, you see him. He's sat down uh, <coughs> next to the table. He's got one elbow resting on it, his chin resting in his hand. Mm -hmm. He's just peering thoughtfully at the head. Hmm. Sweet dream. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, you leave and head back out into the streets of Amber Cove. <laughs> We're like the Spanish Inquisition. We just burst in with bad news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tiberius up, Storm Crow. <laughs> Deal with that, bro. I <laughs> <laughs> just lobbed an open box of locusts into his lap. I've got some scorpions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was, that was I, might still got, am I carrying a box of scorpions? You Is that are, why yes. I can't carry anything? Yeah. Just why I can't carry anything? Your box with scorpions is that box of, like, drugs. Things, isn't it? <laughs> as long as I've got my drugs. <laughs> yeah, well... Rest and then head to Keymouth the next day and tell them, and and hopefully the, we can form some kind of expedition to try and find this elder brain. Okay, so you head back to the Dragon Turtle, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, you head back to the Dragon oh, awesome. Turtle, yeah? It's, uh, it's still early morning, um, but there's uh, quite a crowd of people in there. Um, there's no sign of the blood sworn mercenaries. Um, what are your plans for the rest of the day? Food. Okay, you take some food. You take some yeah. rest. Women. Would you go like back? Yeah, go back. Go back to the dragon's turtle. Get everything settled. Put all the bags in our room. Mm -hmm. Hey, what do we need to take off? Money-wise, pay for the rooms. Oh yeah, so you were having one room together, weren't you? I believe yeah. it was five silver for the room, room for per night. Five that silver. was for all of you, yeah. Right, I'll pay for that. Someone else can pay for the food, the meal. I'll pay for the food and stuff, food and drinks. Okay, I'm going to give you a long rest then, as you are mm -hmm. spending the day resting and preparing yourself. Um. There isn't a mirror in this room, is there? There is a mirror in the room, yeah. I'm, I'm turning it facing the wall. If I'm getting... It's a mirror you know blank... all too well. I'm getting the, one, my blanket and I'm draping it over the mirror and then turning it to face the wall. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, you spend the day resting. Um, are you going to try and organise passage back to Keymouth? How are you going to get back there? Is there anything else you want to do during the rest of the day? Um, I'm going to go uh, I think I'll, I'll be the one to head down the docks and secure passage. I'll go and um, see if I can find what's-his-face. Um, uh, I'll store. Well, Store's with the Duke's fleet. Um, in fact, Store isn't there. Store has been sent on a on an errand, hasn't he? Back oh, to yeah, Keymouth to right. warn them of the. Uh... But you can find uh, Malark, the uh, harbour master. Yeah. Okay. I'll go and have a um, with, You know, with his balding head, salt and pepper stubble. Um, there's a, a queue outside his office again of people that he's making wait outside. Um, he's full of his own importance, but you barge through and you manage to secure uh, passage back to Keymouth. Um, in fact, <coughs> the um, the ship that you sailed in on, Arvine Grey Sails ship, uh, the voyage is still yeah. uh, is still there waiting to return you when you're ready. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Uh, anybody wants to do anything else for the rest of the day? That'll yeah. Where, where, where have we left the drow child? You left the drow child with Tel Harfei, the ancient one, in the oh, yeah, city yeah. of Antaros. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Uh, we don't need to see Flamesinger before we go, do we? I don't think we do, do we? No, don't think no. so. I don't no. think so. Okay. All right, so you spend the first day in some time actually properly resting and and uh, nursing your wounds, getting ready for the next stage of your journey. Um, the voyage is due to leave on the morning tide. So let me just uh, set this, so that will be... I just want to sell some leather. Uh, okay, yeah, you can go out and uh, sell the, uh, your leather armor. Which is it you're trying to sell? Uh, Hawk Mirrors is leather armor, which is the magical swimming one. Okay, um, so you head up to the uh, the Amber Market. Um, you talk to a few of the uh, tradesmen there. There's a couple that show some interest. One of them offers you 200 gold pieces for it. 200 gold sovereigns. Fucking uh, nice. Yeah, I'll accept his offer. Okay. Right, so you can add 200 gold onto your inventory. Uh, can you uh, give every player 50, please? Well, okay, everyone can do that themselves. Give, give yourselves 50 you gold. Well, how much was the drinks and stuff? I'll just take that off. Um, two copper for a meal, times what, that's eight copper, um, plus four. So, uh, 12 copper for a meal and drinks. How many gold am I adding? 50, mate. 50. Okay. Thank you. I shall remember any more prize. Wonderful. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. Uh, and you settle down for the night, ready for the voyage the next day. Um, it's a cold, clear night in the city, bright stars pricking from the firmament above. Um, and at around about 11 o'clock in the evening, a bell suddenly starts to toll. It, this bell hasn't rung when you've been in the city before. Do you want me to attack? Are, like we in the attack bell? are we in our room? Or in You're the in your room, room yeah. I'll go down to the common room, see if there's anybody there. You head down to the common room, and the place is in a panic. There's people mm -hmm. running around. You can hear outside mm -hmm. shouting and screaming. Uh, yeah, I, you, I grab somebody by the arm. What's going on? At the docks! There's something happening at the docks! Are we under attack? I don't know! I'm getting out of here! I, uh, I, I think we should head to the docks and check it out. It's a crack in, isn't it? Fuck. What are we going to do against that? I don't know, but we should still go and check it out. Okay, you okay. run down to the docks. There's crowds of people milling around, running in the opposite direction, pushing past you as you head down. You look out to the seawater in the docks and you witness the unimaginable. Rising from beneath the waves are three huge ships with ripped sails and barnacle covered prows. They break the surface of the water with a roar as the vessels crash into the nearby harbor. You can make out the crew standing on the decks of these strange ships. Horrifying aberrations, neither man nor fish, but some unfathomable symbiosis of the two. Screaming with laughter whilst leaning over the deck of the lead ship is a humanoid with glistening purple skin covered in <coughs> suckers, with a long, thick tentacle for a tongue hanging out of his mouth. Oh my god. His insane cackling ceases for a moment as he bellows. Behold the Black Armada! And you then see the flags on the ships. And we'll leave the session there for tonight.